Hey, welcome to my software journal. My name is Ronald, and today we're going to be talking about how I went from a truck driver to a software engineer. Let's get into it. As you can see, we're in the software journal 2.0. And you know, before we go any further, I want to give you guys a big thank you for watching these videos. And as you can see, moving on up, better audio, better video, and we're just making it better. This is gonna be a continuation of that one video from a mechanical to software engineer and how I did it. And that will be a link from above. And essentially, this is why I did after college. So I'm just gonna give you guys a little storyline how I went about going from a truck driver to a software engineer. So let's get into it. First, let's, uh, how did I actually became a truck driver with a mechanical engineering degree? So let's get into that first. I graduated out of college and yeah, essentially I had a couple of job offers and I didn't know what exactly I wanted to do with them, right? There's some offers I didn't take because they weren't you know, the best fit for me and there's some offers that I really wanted but I didn't really get, so. I didn't really want to have behind what I really wanted to do in life. So I was like, you know, what, what else can I do other than, you know, doing this mechanical engineering degree because I'm really not passionate about it. So what can I do now? Um, I really wanted to do traveling during that time. So during that year, I actually was like looking into the newspaper and I saw the ad in the classifieds for free CDL training. And then my grandpa came to mind because he told me all his stories about the different adventures that he had. And I was like, yeah, I can do that. Sounds cool. I went up there, I did, I went into in Indianapolis, did my training and stuff and got my CDLs and got a sponsor to sponsor me for my training. So I went to them for like a good six months. Really didn't like to pay too much. And I was like, how can I, you know, always like up my money? And I feel like that's like this whole kind of theme of my whole entire life is like, how can I make more money in a particular skill set as fast as possible? I was doing box van driving for a while, down went to tanker driving and left the company that I was working with and went to another company. So during that time I went to tanking, I was reading some books and on my breaks and stuff, I went to the library and I picked up like a coding book and it kind of like re-fired up some stuff that I wanted to do. I was like, all right, I want to do this. Dang, how, how can I go about doing that? And I was actually like, sure. Back and forth, doing trucking for like a, uh, almost like a year after that. And I was like going back and forth between this tech hub because I was really wanting to network and figure out how can I like build up my skill set. So I went to the tech hub and met a couple of people, start building some sites for them, start building some applications. Next thing you know, um, getting my money up, getting everything great. I'm learning how to negotiate pricing for my skill set and the services that I'm providing. Some people are like, ah, that's too high. Uh, I can't do that. And sometimes I lose clients because of that. But at the end of the day, I know what I'm worth. I know how to solve problems and I know how to produce results at the end of the day. Be past that. I decided it's like, yo, if I really wanted to do this, because I was like going back and forth for like weeks, like staying home for like weeks or two weeks at a time and going back to trucking over the road and being out there for like a couple of months. I was like, how can I do this full time? So I, I told myself I really have to quit trucking in order to pursue this. I quit trucking, did some stuff on the side with some contracts, and then I started networking with some like my family. They actually introduced me to my mentor now. And he was like, yeah, I actually have a frat brother. He has a startup and I can hook you up and send your information your his way. Say, hey, cool, all right. Two days later, he called me up and I was like, yeah, I'm looking for a job, an uh, internship. And yeah, and before I actually go further on that, I actually enrolled into a college because after I quit trucking uh, for the first time, I was like, how can I get an internship or get experience? And one of the ways I thought about that is like enrolling in a college. So, because a lot of people don't want to hire you if you don't have any experience or you're not enrolled in the college for internships. So I was like, I enrolled into a college in my city 
and I didn't really take no courses, but I mean, I still went there. I was a verified uh, student at that university or community college. Actually, it was, it was a community college. I think the application fee was probably like, you know, 50 bucks or something like that. So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll spend that 50 bucks in order to get a return on my investment to get like an internship or something like that. Cause that's what I really want to do. I want to, I want to get an internship and doing software engineering. So I went that route and going back to the call. So he called me up two or three days later. Say, Hey, he was like, yo, uh, tell me a little something about you. Why, why do you want to do this? So I was like, yo, I've been, you know, doing trucking and stuff, but on and off, I've been doing some contracting outside of trucking, trucking, getting paid, um, doing these applications, websites and stuff for businesses. So yeah, I'm, I definitely want to get into this field and I want to get as much skills, as much as possible in order to get there. It's all right, cool. And so one, one of the things he told me I need to do before I actually like, you know, he hired me on was do like a technical manual script of this application I told him I built. And the application I built was a snake game. Uh, if you look back in the days, um, the old snake, maybe I put up a GIF or something like that. But I essentially made this snake game out of Java. And yeah, I sent him up and I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, here you go. And he was like, yeah, it looks good. It looks good. And I was like, all right, cool. And so he pretty much hired me on. So before I actually went to working with him, I actually took a vacation for a little bit in the Virgin Islands with uh, my sisters and stuff. And my mom, my other mom, yeah, how you doing? And then I went straight to work for him for six months. Learned a lot. So I was getting little, little by little understanding how the software development skill set was going to work for me and how can I, you know, push myself and make myself more marketable as I got further on. Six months passed and I wasn't looking for a job during that time. I should have been looking for a job. And yeah, I went back to trucking literally for almost like a year and, and some change. But at the same time, I was still doing those contracts on the side and, you know, building my skill set up. So doing the websites, actually doing some Unity stuff and doing some Android application and yeah, just doing some basic stuff, probably doing some content management systems as well, WordPress and Joomla and all that other stuff. I was doing that for a little bit and I decided, all right, I need to really get back into like doing this junk full time. I want, I want to get in there. By the time I went back to trying to do it full time, I was having a kid. And I was like, yo, I need to get here. I need to be local in order to get here. How can I get there? And of course, software engineer was in the back of my head. It's like, I can do this remotely. I can do this now. I, I want to be here for my kid, of course. And so I did everything possible to do that. So I quit my job and I already had money saved up. If I needed to survive, if I needed to take care of my kid, I was getting ready to, you know, make that transition. And as I quit, got a job interview, went up to the place. I remember this one kid next to me, he just graduated from a computer science degree. Boy, he was sweating. I was like, why are you sweating? Well, I didn't really say why he was sweating, but I was like, hey, it's all right, man. Uh, just be yourself and be comfortable. And I just know like after that interview that I had the CEO or chief engineer there at that company, I knew exactly that I had the job. Yeah, because we had a really good interaction and I did a lot of research on what kind of stuff they might be asking. And yeah, I, just really, I was just really confident when I was speaking. Explaining to them like, how can you improve on that type performance of a website? All those skill sets that I actually, I got from doing those little contracts and doing those applications for other people, and even for myself, I got more of an understanding exactly what I need to do. So he saw that, he saw my my drive. So he was like, all right, I'll make sure we'll be in touch. And also, it was, it was kind of interesting because this company was kind of like working together with another company. I didn't know I was interviewing for, I was actually interviewing with a company that I wasn't gonna be working for, but working with. Yeah, it was, it was pretty interesting. But as I was walking out, I remember seeing the CEO of the 
of the company and I just remember it was like he was really enthusiastic about you know meeting with me and possibly even working with me. I was like, oh, that's awesome. Startups are really awesome, man. And I guess like one one of, one of the biggest things I would say that startups do look at is your drive in order to you know do other stuff outside of your comfortability. And if you can ever if you ever can do that, and also your entrepreneurship, I think that was like one of the biggest things for uh, why the CEO was really like looking at me. So yeah, I left that day. And I remember just like, I felt really good. I was like really confident because if I wasn't gonna get this job, then I was gonna get something else. And I don't know, just, I just knew. I think it was like two, two or three days later, maybe four days later, I get a call up from HR from the company. It was like, hey, we would like to extend the offer to you. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I'm gonna send that offer to you. I was like, cool. Well, I accept the offer. So that's essentially how I got my full time position at a, a software engineering company. It took me like two years to get there. But in between those two years, I was still learning and I was still building stuff outside of, you know, being a full time software engineer. Never really lost hope. I always knew that I was gonna get there sooner or later. There you have it. That's essentially how I became a software engineer from being a trucker. You guys can do it too. Just don't give up. And you know, if you like this content, make sure you do a like, comment, subscribe, because there's more information that I have to provide for you guys. So until next time, peace.